Let's prove why opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. Uh, to be specific, in this situation of ours, y angle B plus angle D uh, will be equals to 180 degrees. So we're going to do this using only two steps. Uh, so the first step is to make a construction. And the second step is to use that an angle at the center is equals to twice the angle at the circumference so let me go ahead and make that construction uh, so if we're proving that b uh, this angle here plus uh, d is equals to 180 then we're going to join at the center and the other two vertices of our cyclic quad so here we're going to join oa and oc right so let me just uh, go ahead and do that uh, so we have done the first step which is making a construction right uh, if you do that uh, we can say we have o1 here and then we can have o2 here so from the theorem uh, that talks about so step number one is construction and then we have a theorem that says that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference if that is the case then this angle here o1 should be twice angle b right so what am i saying i'm saying that o1 should be equals to two times angle b right uh, angle at center is equals to two times uh, the angle at uh, the circumference right we know that for sure and then we can also say that o2 is twice angle d right uh, the angle at the center again is equals to twice the angle at the circumference right uh, given that they are subtended from the same chord given that they are subtended by the same chord obviously uh, so here we're gonna have o2 being equals to 2 multiplied by angle d right so right now we're basically done uh, we can say that o1 plus o2 is equals to so what is o1 equals to 2b uh, what is o2 equals to 2d right but then o1 plus o2 is equal to 360 degrees right the angle around the point so we're gonna have 360 uh, being equal to 2b plus 2d so we can take out 2 as a common factor to get b plus d now it's easy to see that if we divide both sides by 2 we're gonna get uh, 180 degrees is equal to b plus d and there we go we have proved that the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are indeed supplementary